Hi everyone, welcome to victoriapacking.com and today we are going to make whole salmon. I bought it frozen and defrosted and it's absolutely amazing wild coho salmon. Something really 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 good. So I hope you enjoy the idea and stay tuned. By the way, I baked it in a rival oven. I made the review yesterday, so go check this out, the video out. The link is in the description box below. And let's start cooking! For this recipe I will need grapefruit. Instead of lemon I will use grapefruit. This is enough acidity for uh, the fish and it's absolutely amazing together. So one big grapefruit juice or two if you don't have enough juicing, juice from one food processor or chopper add two garlic cloves you can add more if you like this is pretty big fish now cilantro you see I'm using all the part of cilantro and for this even the this part is better because this have much more flavor than the other parts so use everything and the juices goes in now add black pepper and salt you remember Himalayan pink salt is the way to go now the extra virgin olive oil and bleeds all together until it's smooth paste today I'm first time trying the roaster oven and it's going to be fun what I did this is the inner pan that they comes you can put inside but I decided to put it with the um, lined up uh, aluminum foil uh, you don't have to do it Inside I'm putting parchment paper as well. What it does actually is ensures that um, it will be clean after I'm cooking and the sourness of the um, grapefruits won't touch the aluminum foil. So double layer here. It's just because I don't want to scrub it. In the, uh, but you can, you don't have to do this way. You can see how huge it is. It's about four pounds, even a little bit more than four pounds of fish. This is wild caught and it's just amazing. I love this uh, fish. I love coho salmon, I love pink salmon, and it's pretty affordable too. Make sure to defrost it inside the refrigerator overnight. So now at this point, cover it with the uh, with the sauce that you made and cover it very well with the, everything inside and inside and outside and everywhere take cherry tomatoes or you can slice tomatoes and pop them up around the fish it gives a lot of flavor and i'm going to pop them a couple of them inside the fish as well they were going to pop and they're going to be amazing and tasty and i love tomatoes somehow with this and that's it. Now pop to the oven to, to 430 Fahrenheit or something, to 415 to, to 430 Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes. Now, I love it a little bit raw inside, so I'm going to do it only half an hour. But if you like it more cooked, take it down with more cooking. Now the pop the lid on and the... Here we go. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it. It's absolutely cooked through and it's beautiful. That's wonderful. Just gorgeous piece of fish. Let's take it out. You see, it's just wonderful. 
Ariel was super excited to try it because he loves fish. He even heard me saying that I'm going to try it first and he said, no way, I'm going to try it first. And he, as you see, he loves the skin as well. So I hope you enjoyed the idea and don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me. Thank you for watching, have a great day and see you next time. Bye-bye! Please support my channel by visiting my shops. The links are in description box below. You will find the recipes for Halloween, holidays and just for fun. We have kids books and game as well. Thank you for uh, supporting me and my channel. Love you all. See you next time. Bye!